Hello everyone and welcome to our module on the muscles of the arm. In this video, we will be discussing the anatomy of the coracobrachialis, biceps brachii, brachialis, and triceps brachii. For each muscle, we will review the origin, insertion, nervous supply, and action. The muscles of the shoulder, including the rotator cuff and deltoid, are covered in a separate module, as are the muscles of the forearm. We will start with the coracobrachialis. This muscle is in the anterior superior portion of the arm and is so named because of its origin from the coracoid process of the scapula. The coracobrachialis inserts into the anterior middle humerus. It is innervated by the musculocutaneous nerve, which courses directly through the muscle itself, piercing through the muscle belly at about 5 to 8 centimeters below the coracoid process. This is shown in the image on the right. The coracobrachialis flexes the shoulder and adducts the arm. The biceps brachii is so named because of the, its two heads, the short head and the long head. The short head originates from the coracoid process through a common tendon with the coracobrachialis. This common tendon is called the conjoined tendon and is an important structure to identify during the deltopectoral surgical approach to the shoulder. The long head of the biceps originates from the supraglenoid tubercle and its tendon courses intraarticularly through the shoulder joint and rests in the bicipital groove of the humerus. Because of the intraarticular location of the long head of the biceps, biceps tendonitis often presents with shoulder pain. The biceps inserts onto the ulnar margin of the radial tuberosity. For the purposes of biceps repair in the setting of tendon rupture, it is important to know that the long head normally inserts slightly proximal to the short head on the radial tuberosity. Like the coracobrachialis, the biceps is innervated by the musculocutaneous nerve. Its primary action is to supinate the forearm, however the biceps also contributes to elbow flexion. The brachialis originates from the anterior humerus and inserts onto the ulnar tuberosity 11 millimeters distal to the tip of the coronoid. It is the only muscle in the arm receiving dual innervation. The medial two-thirds of the brachialis are innervated by the musculocutaneous nerve, and the lateral third is innervated by the radial nerve. This is important to know during surgical approach to the anterior humerus, as the brachialis is often split longitudinally along the intramuscular but internervous plane. The brachialis is the primary flexor of the elbow. The triceps muscle occupies the posterior compartment of the arm and is named for its three heads. The long head originates from the infraglenoid tubercle of the scapula, and the medial and lateral heads originate from the posterior humerus. The triceps inserts onto the olecranon process of the ulna. It is innervated by the radial nerve, and it's the primary extensor of the elbow. In the image on the right, the long head and lateral heads are visible. The medial head is deep to the lateral long heads and is not pictured. Let's review some high yield questions. Question one, where does the musculocutaneous nerve pierce the coracobrachialis? The answer is five to eight centimeters distal to the coracoid process. Question two, what muscles are supplied by the musculocutaneous nerve? The muscles of the anterior compartment of the arm are supplied by the musculocutaneous nerve, and these include the coracobrachialis, the biceps brachii, and the medial two thirds of the brachialis muscle. What is the primary flexor of the elbow? The answer is the brachialis. Remember that the biceps is the primary supinator of the elbow. A lot of people think that the biceps is the primary flexor. That is, in fact, the brachialis. In this video, we reviewed the muscles of the arm and their anatomic details. We also reviewed a few high-yield questions. This concludes our module on the muscles of the arm.